dear viewers, we are again at the construction site, where the construction of the Savalmaz DME is in full swing. Today we have asked Ivan, who is responsible for a tremendous amount of activities, such as concrete work, technical supervision, assembly of basement floor blocks, and so on, to tell us what is going on today, what the builders are doing, and possibly what is to be done in the near future. Hello, Ivan. Hello, Alexander. My name is Ivan. I'm an engineer in the company Hacker Moscow. I am engaged in technical supervision. As you've said, Alexander, on the installation of basement panels, backfill soil compaction, reinforced concrete structures that you have already seen, staircases, stairwells. We are looking at all this. To date, we have installed the metal structures that you saw. Now the foundation is being grouted, the formwork is being installed, the grouting is being set up and you will see this. The work continues. Maybe we'll tell you more about the grouting right away. Why it is necessary, how does it happen? Let's take a closer look at this process. I think our viewers are interested in the nitty-gritty details and subtleties associated with construction. When the structures are made, you can see them. They stand on the so-called pins. The pins are fixed and the structure stands on them only. The structure needs to be strengthened, and we're strengthening it with the help of grouting. A special grouting that is used here was ordered and delivered to the construction site. To do this, the foundation is cleaned, washed with water, a wooden formwork is made, and this process is accompanied by casting continuously next to this place. The solution is mixed with a mixer, and pour. Then it is all disassembled after the concrete gains strength and concrete care begins. In this heat, as today plus 30 degrees, concrete dries quickly, so we constantly moisten it with water so that there is no cracking. We can check that on the other concrete slabs, where the grouting has already been done. Probably here? Yes, the formwork has already been removed here. In fact, is this the final product? Should it look like this and nothing else needs to be done with it? Or are there any other processes? At the moment this has already been done. This is the finished product. This is the minus 200 mark. This is what the blank floor will be like. This will be all cast with concrete, but it will already be in the body of the floor. That's why it will stand even stronger. And why it is needed? Why can't you just put the girder on the foundation right away? The foundation is measured. The beam should stand in a strictly horizontal position. The mark must be aligned, and this is done only at the expense of the knots that are placed under it. They are measured by a level up to the mark and only then cast, i.e. it is difficult to cast concrete to such a mark. So in fact it presents a possibility for some kind of adjustment, alignment. Yes, adjustments and alignment, you're right. So that the building stands straight, vertically and horizontally. This is exactly how we like to build, vertically and horizontally. And that's great. The following question arises. We can see a huge amount of profiled sheets laid out on our second floor. What is it done for? I understand that it is for forming concrete floors. Maybe you can tell us a little more about how this process will take place. Yes, now your as strong contractors are laying profiled sheets. They are also laying the rails along the perimeter. The reinforcement will be laid in these profiled sheets and concrete will be poured along this reinforcement, from which the floor base will be formed, another layer will be screed, poured over it, and there will already be a finished floor. Is this the floor on which we can already move both the equipment and the required machinery? Yes, everything can be moved. 
and how long will the floor gain strength and when it will be possible to start using it. Is it a time-consuming process? The process is short. Mounting the reinforcement and casting concrete, pouring the concrete mix, it happens quickly. But there are technological processes for the concrete itself. Concrete hardening, i.e. it gains about 50% of strength over the first 5 days. Then it needs to stand for about 28 days to gain 100% strength. After that you can already put the floor according to the project. A finished floor or a screed and some kind of coating, which will already be finishing. There are certain structures behind us. I assume these are elevator shafts. Can you tell us more about them? How does the formation go? Where is the floor mark? We need more information. Well, look, the foundation of the staircase is now in front of you. It is poured at minus 200. The outlets have been made. From these outlets the reinforcement is wired. You can immediately see the elevator shafts. The grid is already formed. Then the formwork is inserted inside. We can see on the next staircase. This is a formwork installed inside and outside. It is covered. It is done up to the level, everything is marked out. And tomorrow we will be able to witness the process of casting concrete in the formwork of the stairwell. As far as I understand, it will all grow and rise higher, i.e., in fact, the formwork will be repositioned. Yes, of course, it will all grow. This is only the first stage, which goes from zero and higher. Everything will grow. Very interesting. And what about the installation of the basement floor? Well, let's come up and take a closer look at the installation of the basement panels. The installation of the basement panels took place yesterday. You see, the almost final pieces still need to be caulked, but the installation process itself begins with the installation of solid foundation blocks. We will show the solid foundation blocks further. They are being prepared for the next installation of basement panels. The basement panels are already standing here, the welds are made, the primer waterproofing is underway, the bottom of the basement panels is being caulked. Then there will be two layer waterproofing and all this will be filled in. Am I correct in assuming that they are already aligned? You just need to complete the job. Yes, all that's left to do is the auxiliary work. And you can fill in the floors further. As far as I understand the level to which the primer is applied, and in the future the waterproofing will be performed, is the ground level. This is the level of the backfill. This is minus 200, the formation of the floor will be higher, plus 200 more from the concrete on which the columns rest. It's going to be backfilled here. The floor level is going to be higher here. I see. Also, these columns will be caulked, as you have seen before, poured with a shrink-free compound, so the process is underway. And this certainly makes us happy. Ivan, we have a huge number of profiled sheets to make cladding. This is a topic of concern to many of our viewers. They ask their questions, how it will be, when it will be, what it will be. Can we get any comments on this? You know, this process is not fast, and it has just begun. And it is better to talk about it later, when something is already done and something can already be shown. So far the preliminary work is underway. We will talk about this later. Okay. And it will be the right thing to do. Are there any other activities that are taking place today and that we may not know about? Or maybe they haven't been finished, they are underway, and there is something interesting that our viewers should be made aware of.
What do we have going on? The foundations continue to be installed, the groundwork is being prepared for them. The foundations are also being cast because they are not all done yet and the anchoring groups are being installed. Next we still have stairs to deal with, which will also be erected from the zero stage. Our equipment is working, backfilling, tamping, checking for compaction is underway. The concrete that has already settled for more than 28 days is tested for strength. We also have a lab for this and the process is underway. In fact, everything that needs to be done routinely on a day-to-day -day basis will continue until we get to the office and demand at a building. Yes, that's right, we keep going. Thank you very much, a comprehensive comment. We will not distract you from your direct duties anymore. Thank you. I think our viewers will be pleased. Write comments, ask questions, we will try to answer them. See you again. Goodbye.